congratulations. You're now part of the Conceptual Play Wheels project. And um, this uh, video is to do two things. First, to uh, explore the ways in which you can use your app to capture imagination and play and imagination and science moments or engineering moments or technology moments. And secondly, to explore the technical side of things. So let's begin with the first part. So we're going to look at um, using the app to try and capture 30 second or even longer segments of really exciting things that you see happening while you're implementing your conceptual play world. And there are some things to think about. One of them can be around uh, watching a child and thinking, oh, this moment's pretty exciting. I'd like to document it. So it might be a child-initiated play where they're doing things, or it might be during the process of implementing the conceptual play world that something exciting happens and you want to capture that. So some examples are child is imagining. So a child's imagining, they might be closing their eyes and thinking and imagining about something not, not directly observable, like if you were studying the microorganisms in the compost bin and they're imagining themselves being those organisms. So that's an example of the child is imagining. The child is visualising. So that an example of a child visualising is where they might be engaged in some sort of thought experiment and they're um, uh, exploring the idea of, of shrinking and being like the uh, in the story of Alice in Wonderland being the rabbit shrinking and going down the rabbit hole or um, some other aspect of that story. So that's the child visualising. Then we can think about examples such as the child is modelling um, their emerging ideas, um, so scientific ideas that they're, um, they're exploring in the play world, in the conceptual play world. So for instance they might be making designs or they might be drawing something and then talking about the intricacies of that or they could be building something with blocks or other kinds of materials. So that's an example of the child is modelling their emerging, emerging scientific ideas. Then also we might find that the child is role playing some of the scientific ideas, so being that concept that you're exploring of magnification of, um, or being some other aspect of science, so being like the beam of light rushing across in a straight line for instance, or deciding that they will somehow pre present themselves refracting um, white light into the colours of the rainbows for instance. So there might be those kinds of things that you see that you want to capture. You might even see them pretending to be a caterpillar and then going through the metamorphosis and emerging as a moth. So that's an, another example of the child role playing um, science concepts or engineering concepts that you might see or um, um, technology concepts that you, is the focus of the story you've chosen. So there are examples of um, the kinds of things that might emerge that you might want to capture in addition to, of course, showing the, the creative ideas that you come up with in terms of your conceptual play world that supports your story. So that's the first thing we looked at. The second thing that we're now going to look at is actually using the app. An important part of using the app is that it has, as you know when, when you look at it, it has um, uh, some aspects. So you've got the PD page which tells you a little bit about the planning, but the second part where you actually have the capacity to, in selfie mode or in the normal way that you would film or photograph um, mode, um, these, these wonderful imagination and play moments or these wond wonderful imagination and science, engineering and technology moment. And there's two parts to it. One is that you just film as you would normally would to press the, um, the red button and you're recording and that will go for as long or as short as you decide and then you'll see it slide across um, the screen and be saved. But if you want to do continuous mode, continuous capture mode, it will continue to video record in um, 30 second um, clips, but it won't save them. You actually have to um, click the little little box at the top, little circle I should say, of the clip and as you can reach down for instance and click it and it will put a little mark or a tick in the corner and that's the one that's saved. So you might have it running for a whole uh, play world experience where you're sitting together on, the, um, on the, the carpet or you're sitting at a table with a group of children or you're in the imaginary situation when you're walking around with it and you're capturing them, aspects of it. But you, at that very moment you might think, 
most of what I've captured is fine, but actually this last 30 seconds that was just on was amazing. So then you just click that one and then you don't have to go back and review things. You've actually clicked it and then it will save that one. It won't save anything else when you're in continuous capture mode unless you tell it to. And then the third aspect on the menu bar that you have is to actually select the um, clips that you want to um, talk about as part of your stimulated recall of, of the play world. So some of it might be in relation to introducing the story, introducing the problem, maybe even some of the planning discussions or it might be even your own research that you might want to capture and talk about. But it could also be aspects of these amazing moments that you've captured, the imagination in play moments or the imagination in science, engineering or technology moments. And that what you will um, do is, is simply select and put those up there. But at the bottom of the screen will always be in the breadcrumbs everything that you've kept. Um, because during the time of interviewing you, you might suddenly say, oh, something other than that happened that was really interesting. And then you, together with uh, in the interview situation, might select that video clip and it's there because you still have saved it. So keep them all, um, the ones that you're very pleased with and, uh, and even if you don't select them as your five or ten video clips or more or less um, to share during the interview, just keep them all for the moment and, um, and remember that the capacity of recording is based on the memory on your device. So keep an eye on that as well. You don't want to be clogging up your whole, um, your phone, um, your iPad, whatever device you're using with lots and lots of video material. You, of course you can delete from it, um, but um, keep what you can. And we look forward to hearing all about your conceptual play world and what you did and the magical moments when the children were engaged in these imagination and play and imagination and science, engineering and technologies. Thanks for your participation.